up that man's butt must have a rod up its butt. In honor of Seymour's 20th year as principal, we've decided to hold a surprise tribute Friday night. It's my 20th year, too. Miss Hoover, which one is oral? Out of your mouth, Ralph. Volunteers. Thank you, Lisa. Um, no, Miss Hoover, I'm Ralph. Our class is making refreshments for Skinner's party. These are in honor of his army days. Oh, that explains the flags. What about the dog food? My theory is... Skinner likes dog food. Seymour, tell me what time it is. Now! Seven o'clock Friday night, Mother. Time for our weekly silhouette. Tonight we're going for a drive. What's so special about tonight? Nothing. Now put on your special suit and get in the car. <laughs> Happy anniversary, son. Oh, Mother. Ralph? Principal Skinner is an old man who lives at the school. Lisa? Sergeant Skinner was a hero. He risked capture many times behind enemy lines. When I grow up, I want to be a principal or a caterpillar. I love you, Principal Skinner. Yay! Tribute to Seymour Skinner. Pull over, driver. I hope you all brought forks and plates. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have never been happier or prouder to be Seymour Skinner. You're not Seymour Skinner. Skinner! Skinner? I'm an imposter. That man is the real Seymour Skinner. Now let's clear this up. Who exactly are you? Sergeant Seymour Skinner, U.S. Army. It's true. I was in his platoon. Anyhow, the UN shut the factory down last week, and the embassy shipped me home. And here I am. So what's your story, Seymour? If that is your real name. Well, obviously it isn't. Oh, oh yeah, the way I was headed it was just a matter of time before I wound up in front of a judge. I come from a town called Springfield, and my dream is to go back and become principal of the elementary school. Some people might call that a pretty corny dream. But, Sergeant. Sergeant Skinner took me under his wing and showed me that life is worth living. I came to think of him as the big brother I never had. And when they told us he was missing, presumed dead, my future died once again. My life lost all meaning. Sergeant Skinner meant the world to me, and I... I felt it was my duty to deliver the grim news to his mother. Seymour? Is that you? I don't know why I did what I did. I guess I couldn't bear to tell her about her son. What I did was wrong, but I'd do it again. Yes, mother, it's me! A lie made us both happier than the truth ever could have. You can have some lima beans as soon as you've cleaned your room. Go! Upstairs. Third door on the left. Well, that's pretty much what I was planning to do there, Armin. Well, that's about it. So for the past 26 years, I've dedicated myself to living out your dream. Beauty. Get your hands off me! Please, Mom. You too, stranger! I'm your son. I have no son. Uh, well, I suppose I'll have to find a hotel. I won't hear of it. Tonight, you can sleep on the floor of your office. <sighs> I guess me punishing you would be somewhat hypocritical. Why don't you just write a 30-word essay on what you've done? Hey, hey, easy there, you big imposter. My name may have changed, but I'm still the same man I was last week. Not to us, you're not. I mean, how would you feel if you suddenly found out Ned Flanders was an imposter? I've called this assembly to announce my retirement, effective as of the end of this sentence. I wrongfully usurped Sergeant Skinner's position, and I suggest you consider him to replace me. Thank you. Armin Tamsarian's reign of terror is over. Now let us welcome our new Principal Skinner. Principal Seymour Skinner. Oh, I nearly forgot. Your pocket watch. Mother's picture is still inside. Take good care of her. 
A winder every day. Well, I better be going. No, please. I don't care what you've done. You're still a decent, honorable man. Mm. Principal Skinner? Up yours, children. Thank you. Thank you. I must say, in many ways, Springfield really beats the old slave labor camp. Your new principal would like to say a few words. Remember, you have to respect him. He's a war hero. <laughs> hey, America, you're so fine. You're so fine, you blow my mind. America. <laughs> well, that's very concise. But it's an insult to everything I suffered for. Ah, 433rd Street, my old neighborhood. Mm. Oh, yes, for your leers and catcalls. Yowza, yowza. Oh, Seymour, it's 7.30. Where were you? A bar, Mom. Seymour! Set! In the morning. Oh, Mom, I'm borrowing your car. Now there was a weenie you could be proud to call your son. Did you ever tell him that? Hmm. Why am I here? Because the streets of Capital City are no place for three unescorted ladies. Why are the kids here? Because we couldn't find Grandpa to sit for them. My mind is made up. I'm not coming back. And that's final. <laughs> oh, Seymour. And I'm not Seymour. My name is Armin. You're my real son. You've been my son longer than he has, and he doesn't need me, and I don't need him. Now you march yourself downstairs and get in that car. Yes, Mother. Hey, everybody, look! Armin Tamsarian's back, and he's gonna take over the school again. This is where I belong. You can't ask me to disappear just because you like some other guy better. I gave half my life for you people. Aren't I entitled to a little dignity? But I'm a hero! And we salute you for it. Now don't come back. I'm sorry, Seymour. It's nice you're alive, but you're just not what I'm looking for in a son. By authority of the city of Springfield, I hereby confer upon you the name of Seymour Skinner, as well as his past, present, future, and mother. No game? Here, son. This is yours again. Mm. I've never been happier or prouder to be Seymour Skinner. Well, from now on, you're gonna see a new Seymour Skinner. Oh, no, we won't. Yes, mother. If you try and I pay me, I'm gonna try.